guys. It's about 6.15. Just finished setting up for today's wheels and waves. There's nobody here yet. It's nice and quiet, but it's Father's Day and I expect some serious dads. Cadillac Escalade in blue. Nice. I want that car, Wes. I want that car. You can't have that car. It's my car. It's my car. You want to fight for it? <laughs> Not really. Okay. Now we're getting serious. I want it. On everything this morning. I know it's it's tough. Good Bronco. Can I can, can I have that right there? Me? What? He's pointing out. <laughs> uh, it sounds fantastic. Oh, yeah. Did you do all the work yourself? Just about. Yeah. If Mad Max had a normal car, this would be it. Uh, I just got the Passen 855 five speed, which I've been on the way to. Good morning! Hold on, somebody needs coffee. You know that you do. All right. Anywhere you like, there's another Corvair over there. Good morning! There's some coffee for you. Awesome. From Starbucks. All right, park, park, park wherever you like. Wherever there's no cone. If not now. So far, your favorite? Mm. I kind of like the turbocharged Impala that's like 600 horsepower. The red one? Yeah. It's been here before, but holy mackerel! Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. But second choice? Uh, I'd have to say the giant military truck because in traffic it would be fantastic because <laughs> sometimes you just need to drive over it's somebody. It's all about the field of vision. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can see forever. You, yeah. you're, you're bigger than a, than a semi truck. your Lexus again, the one that I would say we drove, but I didn't really drive it. It's actually courtesy of Lexus. It's mine for a week. Yes, it is yours for a week. Right. The blog went up. Did you see it? Because you look fabulous, by the way. That goes without saying. <laughs> Excited, very excited. Wrapping up, great turnout today. Happy Father's Day. 
to pretty much every father, and even if you're not a father, happy Father's Day anyway. Very, very exciting news. Incredibly exciting news that this young lady has finished her mermaid. Have, have you? I think, unless you think it looks awful. I don't think it's gonna look awful. I think it's gonna look, you know, okay. What if it looks like there's egg on her face? <laughs> Let's go I see. I don't even have any Let's eggs. go see. I anticipate it's gonna be done. You guys wanna see it? This is not the final in terms of if I were to want to put it into bronze. This is a plaster casting. It's been four years in the making. Not that it took that long, but you know, in between jobs and making the mold and sculpting it, and decided to go forward, cast her out of just plaster, and then paint her with bronze paint. I spritzed on patina, then I came in with more paint, and I like her. I'm, I'm happy. Well, to do a sculpture like this, it's a multi-level process. First and foremost, I had to design it on a little piece of paper. Then I blew up that piece of paper her size. So as a sculptor, at least as far as when I sculpt, I like to measure off of something. So when I had the drawing her size, I could measure. I started to build a inner armature first. Then I got the best clay there is, which is called wed clay. After sculpting, which probably took a couple of months, I kept her wrapped up in cellophane. And then the mold making process began. Molds are really complicated. First, you have a silicone you have to put all over this, multi pieces, then plaster on top of that, then you've got to pull it all apart, plaster and plaster. I needed a lot of help for those phases. special paints which is actually got bronze powder in so when I paint her with bronze I can then spritz her with different patinas and she'll she'll take on that aged look then I came in with little highlights and just sort of played with her looks awesome looks fantastic great job phase one is complete I guess I, I try to instill some some kind of automotive inspiration or something based on what has happened throughout the day but I feel compelled today you know, every time we do a wheels and waves show I just feel an enormous amount of gratitude for those that that want to come to the show and have a good time 
share their cars, share their car stories. I meet so many of you and I just have such a good time. I just see clearly that, that cars and coffee events, events where people get together and they get to, to share what they love most is such an integral part of at least my life and of your lives. It's such an important thing for you guys to take advantage of those moments, whatever you're into. You know, it doesn't have to be cars. If you're into golfing, you're into macrame. They still, people still do macrame. Care if you're a vegan or you like to travel or whatever it is your passion, you gotta share that. You can't just keep that to yourself. You gotta get it out there. It was the whole reason that I, I decided to do Wheels and Waves in that capacity. And I have such a tremendous support system with uh, Ken from Wicked Customs, with Michael from uh, the English Car Company, with Wes from the Daily Driver Project, and of course the Automobile Drag Museum and Greg Gill. Just a fantastic group of people. Each one committed to making sure that we have a good time and they get a chance to share those stories. I I'm grateful not only for being able to do those shows and that you guys want to come and hang out and uh, and share your cars. But also to the, the many of you that, that contact me on a weekly basis and say, hey, I got this really cool car. I got this really cool place. Come and visit, come and check it out. There was a time in this vlog where I was clamoring for content. I was looking for things. And now I, I have 20 things that I can choose on a daily basis. So please know that if you if you do contact me and you want me to come and see you or, or check out your cars, it's not that I don't want to do it. I want to do it. I want to be able to check out each and every single one, car collections and everything else. I just got stacks of, of people that want me to come out and do this and I'm incredibly grateful for that I'm incredibly grateful to be able to to share my passion and for for me to 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 get you guys on the show and to be able to share your ride with our audience as you know our job here on the vlog is to help you guys improve your life through what you love and that's that's part of it so if you love cars and you love going to car events please subscribe you know and join us and not just about watching silly videos and and you know you could do that all day long and watch people doing things fails and all that kind of nonsense. We're trying to create good quality content so that you can enjoy yourself. You can see what's going on in the automotive community around the world and primarily focused in Southern California. And for us to make something that you guys actually enjoy, something that, that you can watch and you feel inspired and you feel good and they can go out throughout the day and you can share what it is that you love. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you hanging out with us today. So stick with us as we clamor through this automotive journey. It's a big sandbox and there's lots of room.